Okay, guys. Now we have questions 17 to 20. Complete the table below. If you are lucky, then you will get completion type of questions more and more. And they have a huge variety of tests. If you are unlucky, part one, multiple choice. Part one, again, multiple choice. One of my students, he got around 30 multiple choice questions in one test. He said, sir, everywhere multiple choice, single multiple choice, double multiple choice, even triple multiple choice, where out of seven options, you select three options. So if you are unlucky, then there are more multiple. So that is why IELTS depends on your luck as well, not this luck, the other luck, L-U-C-K luck, okay? Yeah. Anyways, let's go on. Complete the table below. Write no more than three words and or a number. Now, by the way, this no more than three words is older pattern. But this is very common presently as well. In the test, they're giving no more than three words. Maximum word limit is three. Minimum is one. Okay. No more than three words and or a number for each answer. Day, time. Is there any question in day? No. Time. Event. Yes, two questions about event. Venue, one question. And ticket price? Now, ticket price is going to be a number. Venue is going to be the name of a place. And event is going to be the name of the event. Now, can you guys see question number 17 is venue. Venue for what? Magic flute. Now, in the audio, when they say the word magic flute, and after that, they will say anything. It will be held at or it has been arranged at the dash, or it will be conducted in the, whatever they say after that, answer is going to be a location, place, right? So, to give you some idea of what's on, and to help you choose from the many possibilities, we've made a selection of the star attractions. If you're interested in classical music, then we recommend you go along to the National on either Monday or Tuesday evening at 7.30, for a spectacular production of the Magic Flute, probably the most popular of all Mozart's operas. It's in the Garden Hall, and tickets start at only £8, but you'll have to be early if you want to get them that cheap. Yeah. And remember, it's only on for he those two evenings. He very, very clearly, very, very cleverly about it. I mean, he just chewed the word. Sometimes they chew the words as well. He chewed the word very, very clearly. And when I tell you the answer, you'll say, Acha, eh? Garden Hall! But the way he spoke garden, just listen to him again, right? Yeah. So sometimes if you fail to understand the word, just focus the sound and write that word. Okay, let's see. So, to give you some idea of what's on and to help you choose from the many possibilities, we've made a selection of the star attractions. If you're interested in classical music, then we recommend you go along to the National on either Monday or Tuesday evening at 7.30 for a spectacular production of the Magic Flute, probably the most popular of all Mozart's operas. It's in the Garden Hall. And yeah, exactly. It's in the Garden Hall. It's in the Garden, garden Hall. Exactly. So, as you listen to it, it's Garden, Garden Hall. Speak Garden as well, not Garden. Yeah. Let's go on. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Dash Canadian Film. So, answer is going to be the name of the movie. And can you see inverted commas? Yes. Yeah, so it means answer is going to be the name of a movie. One serious note for you all on IELTS listening and IELTS reading answer sheet, never use punctuation marks. You don't need to, by the way, right? Yes, you, if there are two words that make the answer, write both words together. But never use punctuation marks like comma, full stop, inverted commas, and all that. So the answer is going to be the name of that Canadian film and by the way whenever they write anything Canadian film for that they will say that is called right there's a movie which was made in Canada that is called that is called it is known as that is called it is known as after that they will tell you the name of the movie for those more interested in the cinema you might like to see the new Canadian film which is showing on Wednesday evening at 8 p.m. in cinema 2 and that's called Three Lives. <laughs> that's called Three L-I-F-E-S. L-I-V-E-S. Three Lives. And you can write three as a word or as a number, no problem. 
okay three like but when there is the name of a movie then you can write t h r w -E, but it's fine three as a digit or as a word because they've written no more than three words and or a number so three is going to be the answer three lives okay cinema two and the price of the ticket that's it question number 19 it's had fantastic reviews and tickets cost just four pounds fifty which is a reduction on the usual price of five pounds fifty so it's really good yeah five pounds four pounds fifty reduction of the usual price five pounds fifty now keep in mind whenever they use currency sign in the middle and there is one amount in the beginning and one amount at the end currency sign will be replaced by a point a dot for example four pounds fifty you how will you write it four points five zero if they say it'll cost you ten dollars eighty ten dollars eighty ten point eight zero if they say it'll cost you six euros eighty five 6.85 is it clear right and if they say it'll cost you 350 dollars 350 dollars means 350 no not point 350 dollars yeah 350 350 3.50 3.50 3.50 so please don't forget that sometimes your right answer i mean i think there are 30% careless mistakes in IELTS listening and because of those careless mistakes your band score decreases tremendously one wrong answer is enough to degrade you from 8 to 7.5 if you need 8 triple 7 from 7 to 6.5 and from 6 each to 5.5 okay so be careful let's go on question number 20 it's Saturday and Sunday 11 a.m. to 10 p.m dash art exhibition answer is going to be the name of art exhibition let's see what is the name but you can see the center's main attraction at the weekend because on saturday and sunday 11 a.m to 10 p.m they're showing a wonderful new exhibition that hasn't been seen anywhere else in europe yet it's a collection of chinese art called faces of china that's in gallery it's one it's a collection of chinese or art called faces of china now they don't mind singular plural but over here because it's the name of the art exhibition if you write face of china your answer will be wrong the correct answer is faces of china that's right